What is happening? Welcome back to The Past Alive, and thank you all for tuning in. Tonight, we have a random rip before us. A 1989 Fleer, a box I've not opened in over two years. I think I've opened three of these on my channel. The last one I opened was a BBCE error box, and I think I found... Definitely found the Billy Ripken, did not find the Johnson, found a couple other ones, not the Treadway, though. And tonight, I wasn't even planning on doing a rip. I was sitting in my house, minding my own business, staring at the wall, and I was summoned to do a rip by Alton. So you can blame him for this rip tonight, but I am pretty excited because I love 89 Fleer, obviously. Kegger Jr. rookie card, along with several other ones, and also a slew of airs, including one of the most iconic of all time, the Billy Ripken F-Face air. And I had three of these randomly sitting around on my floor, and uh, I think the last one I opened, I pulled the black scribble from. So I have no idea if it's an air box. This number up here doesn't signify anything, obviously. If you want to find that card and guarantee that you find it, you need to find a case and buy a box from a case that has the actual however many digit number on it that has the, you know, the day, the year, the shift to actually guarantee that you pull one. But the F-Face card, this is what we're looking for. Uh, you can get these raw for about 50 bucks, roughly, on uh, eBay these days. PSA 10s are about $500, so, and the whiteouts are very expensive. I don't own the white scribble, the whiteout, so. Maybe we'll pull one tonight. And the way we're going to do this since I have all the cards I need out of this release, we're going to do a break on it, and we're going to do what I like to call the ghetto shuffle. Instead of doing the wheel of names and going through all of that, I have everyone's names on here. So we will ghetto manually shuffle it like this. I can't see anyone's names. I can't see through these. So this is how we'll do this to determine spots, because when I do post breaks, there's usually a lot of people that claim the same spot because they sell out very quickly. So now... We are going to do it the ghetto way, which should not affect anybody or bother them. Top left is going to go to Alton, the guy who demanded that this happen tonight. So, Alton, you are in the top left spot. You're up first. Let's see if we can pull you a Billy Ripken F face. Hopefully not the black box card. Everyone has that. So Jeff made a house. Happy New Year, you bunch of F faces. <laughs> Jeff, what is going on, man? Glad you could join us. Jeff, very active on YouTube as a channel as well. Please check him out. If Paul L. or Tango could link his channel, I would greatly appreciate it. Happy New Year to you, Jeff, and everybody else. Maybe we'll do another rip tomorrow. Who knows? Highly freaking unlikely, but you never know. The, bo the box bottom cards, we've got Joiner, Oakland A's, Canseco, and Puckett. Luckily has his top on on that photo, which he would go on to remove Several years later on a Dream Team card that Score put out for God knows what reason. The first nine packs go to Alton in the top left. And we also have Jer Jerome Manley in the house. 18-month member. The Ghetto Shuffle is a song <laughs> written by the famous. And it cuts off right there. The Ghetto Shuffle. I'm going to have to check into that. That would be the new TPA theme. First pack, you got the quad sticker that is miscut, of course, by Bonilla insert card. Very perplexed, that look on his face. Ted Simmons, looking an awful lot like Tom Berenger in Major League Two. And the card stock of these is very coarse, very hard to shuffle through these. Raphael Belliard, we hated him as kids. My brother and I absolutely despised him. Dwight Evans, there's Carlton Fisk. And of course, Van Snyder, another guy that I despised as a kid, has to show up in the same pack. Vaughn Hayes, Van Snyder, same freaking person, I'm convinced. Call it a conspiracy theory. It is the truth. Walt Terrell shows up, and there is a strange pink orb floating around next to him in the outfield. I can't tell, but I'm obsessed with it, as you can imagine. There's Franklin Stubbs for Paul L. Paul L. can say the quote on that one. And Carl Nichols making me very uneasy with that creepy-ass smile. And we also have in the house... Cards, cars, and guitars, says Boom, just for being there for us. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Cards, cars, and guitars, also as a channel, puts out videos as well, card videos, and some other things, as you can see in the title of his channel. But uh, check him out. Sub to him if you have not already. Texas Ranger sticker. To start things off, Paul L. Tango, please post a link to his channel and subscribe to him if you'd be so kind. How Morris, Mean Muggin. 
I absolutely hated how Morris as well. It looks like we're going to be cursed with players that I despise as a kid. Tom Browning left us too early recently. Another card I like to pull out of here is a Jeff Treadway target or bullseye air above his head. It was one I picked up years ago, raw for like 20 bucks on eBay, but it's one you don't see very often. Strawberry shows up. Billy Buckner, Kevin Elster. It's a big name around this time. Doug Jones. And we summoned him into existence. And of course, it's not the freaking bullseye. But it doesn't mean a freaking thing. The last box that opened the error box that I pulled the Ripken F face uncensored from had a treadway that was corrected. So you never freaking know. You just don't. Next pack up for Alton. Looking for Craig Biggio, rookie card also. John Smoltz, Gary Sheffield. Quad sticker aside, Dave LaPointe. There's Jay Buner, second year card. Tom Bernanski, Todd Benzinger having a freaking time of his life. Steve Lyons definitely looks like he's photoshopped in front of the green monster there. It's very awkward looking. Ron Robinson always looked awkward. John Dobson, Mark Langston, Don Robinson, the TV dad sitcom. Dave Bergman, Hershiser, Mickey T <laughs> Paul L. I'm sure you remember on OfferUp, OfferUp, the, the buying and selling app, it's pretty awful. I used to be able to find some really good deals on there, but it's been saturated with terrible deals and just people that find cards like this in a dumpster and decide to sell them for $86, I want to say. that I The last time I was on OfferUp, this Tettleton was $86. Bucks. Yeah. Eckersley and Dave Winfield. Elster, three-run homer on opening game of Pac Bell Park. Paul, so remember that? <laughs> I was on there for a while. The Vikings says I got two in the 90s. Quad sticker side. Of course, looking for Dennis Cook rookie card as well. Alfredo Griffin. Almost looks like his arm is sliced in half there, and he's throwing with a nub. Bobby Witt Sr., Nelson Sandovina, Kevin Seitzer. Pedro Guerrero is probably my favorite player for a couple weeks around this time when my brother and I got into collecting was like 89. Truman Show co-star Joel Skinner. we got a Randy Johnson rookie card coming up. Is it going to be the Marlboro Billboard or the Blackout version? My, my brain wants to see something there. There's so many variations of this billboard. It looks like I can't see anything, but I'm holding on to dear hope. My magnifying glass is not next to me for some reason. It's probably buried in a pile of crap next to me instead. Kirk McCaskill, George Bell. So that is a corrected Randy Johnson, but for you noobs that are just getting the card collecting or even this release, this original card had a Marlboro logo here, pretty big on the billboard. There's different variations of it as far as um, how well you could see it went, but Tommy Gray looking hideous as ever. I never thought that I would say I would find someone that looked worse than Zane Smith, but we have tracked him down. Tommy Gregg has won that award. Pat Borders, Jose Lean, and Curry Puckett. Censorship ship sucks. I agree with that. I totally agree with that. Use a flash on it. It looks like it's blacked out. I think, the, was it the last time that I opened 89 Fleer, or was it two times ago? I can't remember, but uh, I remember being called a racist during that video, and it was a big fiasco, and it was... Completely uncalled for and ridiculous, but I'm sure some of you guys might have been here for that. Floyd Bannister, <laughs> Raphael Santana. There's Larry Anderson. Jim Eppert, a creepy little side smirk there. Manuel Lee, Los Polonia. There's Cecil Fielder. Jeff Robinson, Alan Anderson. I'm calling Mandela Effect in that card. I don't remember that ever existing. And look at that. The Billy Ripken has shown up. And of course, it's going to be the very first stack. So if it's not the error card, everyone will leave. <laughs> which is always my freaking luck. <laughs> we'll at least save it till the end of the pack. So Billy Ripken and Kyle Ripken, back-to-back. -back. We got three O's back-to-back -back in that pack. Larry Sheets in a checklist card to boots. All right. So the iconic Billy Ripken. Like I said, the last boxes that I opened from the stack of Random 89 Fleur that I have... Um, it was a black scribble, which black scribble is kind of a tough pull. You don't really see that too often. And I think I pulled two of them maybe, so I put one on my PC. I might have sold the other one. I don't, maybe I still have both of them. I don't know. We're saving that for the very end. Tanger, I like, your, I like the way you think, man. Thank you for throwing it out there. That way, <laughs> not as many people will abandon me. 
I don't know if that's Moan or Moni. Since I want to start a channel called Jabs Alive, where I just mispronounce player names, claim stuff I rip is worth a hundred times more than eBay comps. Also, fad rips like F1 cards is a joke. I would totally wholeheartedly support that. <laughs> Thank you very much, man. I appreciate that. I would, I would probably be your biggest viewer, and would love every second of it. So, if you do decide to do that, please let all of us know. Chris Sabo, Charlie Hayes, rookie card, to whom it concerns. Steve Curry, Sean Dunstan, Paul Molitor. Is Al Newman, Julie Davis, and Frank Tanana. Along with the Benito Santiago in his early years. Yeah, I, was, I went on a rant the other night. I think that's what he is uh, pertaining to. But I went on a rant the other night of like, I don't know, just random YouTubers that open packs and stuff like mainly just rip packs and, and things of that nature like and they can't pronounce like re, you know regular names like household names you think like joe girardi if you consider that a household name i do personally but and it's almost like they just they were never really into the hobby to begin with when they were younger or just baseball in general and just kind of like doing it for i don't know views or for money whatever it may be the incentive but Junk Wax Genius says, yeah, I feel like there's a lot of channels like that that are like, hey, you know, this is Jab's guy opening packs. I could do that. Or like anybody else, I could do that. And they just start buying junk. The cheapest of the junk wax there is, like 91 Don Russ, and they start opening it. And it's like, what? Like, <laughs> mispronouncing all these names. Dan Berryhill with Unibrow. Used to hate him as a kid. Greg Brock. Jack Lazorco also with a nub. Pat Perry, Sweet Lou Whitaker, Ed Whitson. Cameron Drew and Steve Wilson. It's a Billy Rimkin. <laughs> Charlie Huff and Bryn Smith. The Junk Wax Posers. I'm going to make a channel <laughs> called The Cheapest of the Junk Wax. Terry Weiss. What is happening, man? A score, it's a $100 card. Yeah. <laughs> That's a $100. It was like, yeah, a $150 card or whatever. For uh, the 90 upper deck. Griffey Jr. PSA 10s don't even sell for that much. Pete O'Brien, Andres Thomas, the 4040, Canseco, which I feel like typically 4040 card was always a precursor for Billy Ripken and Wax, Todd Froworth, and Roger McDowell having the time of his freaking life. How Morris Rookie actually showed up a little bit ago. And he's mean mugging. The Ted Powers, it, uh, unfortunately, it's not the Ted Powers from 1990 Fleer that has the. Winston and Budweiser son in the background. Last pack for Alton. Walt Weiss, another guy that we'd cringe at. Mike Pagliarulo, the Donnie Baseball doppelganger. Steve Bouchelle, Scraggly Malt, flapping the wind. There's a second year Ron Gant, Clark, and Palmero. So no big rookies, but we do have the baby face of Gary Carter in very deep sadness. Carter always had very depressing photos, but meanwhile, he is the cover boy of the box, looking very colorful and vibrant. There. There's a Tom Gordon rookie card. And Brooke Jacoby ends up back. Brian Smith says, see a guy at my LCS rip up in a case of 2023 National Treasure today and ask the store owner <laughs> who Ron Santo was. That's pretty bad. That is pretty freaking Ron Santo. Who's that guy? So Alton. First stack in the books. He was the one who requested this rip tonight. And we are going to save that Billy Ripken for the end. So just remember that's Alton's. Thank you for that, Brian. I appreciate it. The next one up, the Ghetto Shuffle. A mess of things since my defense always started collecting in 2018. See, there's nothing wrong with that at all, though. I, I, it's nothing against that whatsoever, but I just feel like a lot of a lot of YouTubers out there, they're opening packs, or they're just trying to... They're doing it for the wrong reasons, not to collect, essentially. And you can do whatever you want. I mean, that's fine, but it's just, I don't know. It is a pet peeve of mine. Next stack, Robert A. Stack number two. Mess of things. You got number two. Good luck to you. Any filthy red box ambience? Filthy red box is always on standby. The 89 top traded set that once housed 100 Moises Lou cards, 1990 score, and was chewed on by moss and or rats at one point in time. <laughs> that was gifted by somebody. There's Kelly Paris. It looks a lot like our childhood friend Mark Anthony, 
who I deemed Ant Man. He did not like it very much at all. There's a second year Mark Grace, Robin Younts. Dante Bichette rookie card was a hot one back today. And I definitely call a Mandela effect, a Mandela effect on the Eric Bullock. Luis Salazar Gwynn. There's a Grady Hall and Mike Rochford. There's the big cat and Denny Tartable, Ken Phelps' brother. Yeah, Ken Phelps is a nice card in the set as well. And of course, Dave Smith is going to show up. I'm sure we can just swoon over his sunglass tan lines. Mark Grace looks like he's churning butter in that card. Astro sticker aside. Orsalak, check this card. Tom Prince, rookie. We used to hate him as kids, even though he's a bucko. Pendleton, trying to show off that bulbous jugular vein. Man <laughs> Mandelic effect. Yeah, I, was, I figured someone would catch that. Criterion Racer, what is happening, man? It says, Happy New Year's of Passes Alive family. Criterion Racer Lee, what is going on, man? Happy New Year to you. There's a Clement Lido press for Jonathan H., who seems to have abandoned me. I'm not seeing him in a while. Check out Criterion Racer's channel if uh, you'd be so kind to post a link to him, Tango and Paul. The Mandelic effect. Add to the list along with uh, Ty Club, Stadium Cobb, Candy Sierra, there's Dave Valley, Mitchell, Fred Lynn, J. Howe Aguilera, and Dave Smith. You definitely see the sunglass tan line there. Candy Sierra, Ruben's, Ruben's sister, brother Jay says. <laughs> Jim Clancy is by Bo. And Eric Hansen with a fake face. Always creep me out. Willie McGee for Mikey G if he's in here. Blackjack McDowell. I'm about to throw a temper tantrum. There's Norm Charlton and Henry Cotto in that pack. Brian Charles' Cool Mountain Cabin video, Criterion Racer. That was a cool video for sure. Little present that shiny soul. <laughs> Glow dripped mullet. Always. Cub sticker aside, creepy Don Hankel. Very devious look on his face. Remember, Martinez rookie card was a very hot card back in 1989. Between that and Sandy Alvar Jr., those are the ones you had to have. Kevin Bass, of course, is going to show up. We have so many different Kevin Bass var variations around here. The many pants of Bass, the googly eyes, Bass. Forever. Kevin Bass. Chris Sabo and Mike Bonilla again. Doc Gooden, Al Jones. <laughs> Windowless white van approached. <laughs> that Martinez neck. A message thing says there are 191 of you watching. Does anyone know the name Stefan Weaver? I have never heard that name in my life. Philly side or sticker aside, there's Boomer Wells. Drayback squeezing one out. Photographer literally caught him there. Danny Gladden and that shiny mullet. We got a Will Clark for Nick Miller. Will Clark insert. So those aren't like super easy to pull. They're probably a couple per box. Brian Fisher used to like him a lot. Depends on his 88 Tops card that has a $2,000 price tag on it. Lee Smith or Harold Baines. Jeff Reed. Rivera and Jose Uribe. Not the $758,000 Jose Uribe from the following year. Not to be confused with that one. We got Trevor Williams also in the house. Yeah, check out a mess of things also. If you've, if you've not subscribed to him, it does his minute rips. Very, very cool and unique series. I don't know if you guys post a link to him or not, but uh, totally forgot to shout him out. Thank, Tango, thank you for posting a mess of things. We got Trevor Williams in the house as well. So I have a speech impediment and have junk wax. <laughs> I better start streaming on YouTube pronto. <laughs> That's kind of what it seems like. I'm not poking fun at them. It's just, it's kind of agitating. Kevin Brown. First Fleer card, I guess. Is it his first Fleer card? I think Kevin Brown rookies in 87 Don Russ. That's really the one true one that I know. Tom Foley, Mark Grant, Richard Dotson. There's an Alan Ashby. This is also an error card. I think the error is like statistical. I honestly forget. It's like nothing really that major, but it, it, it does have an error variation. John Cerruti ends that pack. Butchering JWE names for 1,300 consecutive days. Well, I'm no expert when it comes to, to modern cards. You will definitely hear me butcher names. Quad stickers, Zane Smith. Looking for Tommy Gregg. Danny Jackson and David Cohn. Tom Candiotti. 
looking for his next victim on that card. Very devious stare. Corey Snyder from the time of his life. Paul O'Neill from Mikey G now. Rick Sutcliffe. And Chaos with the William McGee emoji. We got two packs left. Robert A. It's just like, I, I swear that's why a lot of people do it. I see people keep talking about it in the chat, but I swear people just like, they go on YouTube, they see somebody like, I don't know, my brother or like one of these other bigger YouTubers that open packs or on, even on TikTok, they have one pack per day. Now it seems like a lot of people do that. It's become a trend, but the people don't really have, they don't really seem to know anything about baseball cards. <laughs> Which I don't understand. Why are you doing something you know nothing about? But it's wild. Like I said, the one guy was paying for ads on Facebook. That's how I came across it. I'm like, who does that? There's Rance Mullinix, Felix Jose rookie card. I used to hate him because it would always fool me opening 89 Don Russ. I'd always have him get stuck with a Felix Jose instead of a Griffey. It looks like we got a John Smoltz rookie coming up next, though. Check it out. The first prominent rookie shows up in a mess of things stack. And Paul L. is demanding a Mike Watkins sighting. We're going to Conseco insert card along Bruce Suter. Felix from in. And look at that. That's a freaking sick pack. Griffey rookie card. Mess of things. He's had some good freaking luck lately. He got that Piazza um, handcuffed lumberjacks from the break on Thursday out of 5,000. And now he's got a Griffey and a Smoltz rookie in the same freaking pack. This one is definitely a little bit off left to right, but still an iconic card nonetheless. You got the freaking Griffey and the Smoltz. Two for one deal. Very nice. First Griffey shows up in the second stack. Pretty sick. Pretty sick indeed. Angel sticker aside, Gary Varsho. There's Matt Noakes. Cruck. Bob Malacky and Jim Corsi rookie cards. Griffey looks mad. <laughs> There's Tim Raines. Kurt Stillwell. Still no sign of Dennis Cook. Joiner. There's a Fred McGriff. And Todd Burns. Ben Kiffy, three. That's the things. Stack in the books. You got a Griffey rookie, Smoltz. And we go on to the next stack. But not until we have a Mike Walkton sighting. Hey, so I used to hate Matt Noakes. I don't remember why. I almost said that, and I just feel like I berated you guys so much with players that I hated. And I've said it a lot in this video. So give me guys a break. Dion is in the update set. But there is... Mike Walkton floating in his globe. So the final two packs, or the final two stacks, I should say. Two spots here. Ghetto Shuffle reveals Nick West in number three. That's why, <laughs> that's why we're here, John. That's good to know. Vaughn Hayes is a devil. We used to hate Vaughn Hayes as young lads, and that hate has carried over into, child, or into adulthood. The next... Nine packs go to Nick West. I'll never be mad about you hating Vaughn Hayes. Felt that way for 35 years myself. Yeah, I just feel like the hate, it burns with uh, every new year. No Marlboro sightings. We had the censored version. We don't know what that is yet. I'm hoping that we at least got a black scribble. <laughs> Vaughn Hayes is a family. <laughs> Nicholas West, let's find you something nice. Jack Morris starts it off. And we got Marty Brown and Lenny Harris rookies. Denny Heap. Jeff Parrott. George Brett. Rick Roden, Craig Biggio rookie card now shows up. <laughs> That's what he wants you to believe. <laughs> I feel like every glorious pack of 80 Don Russ I've ripped open as a kid contained a Vaughn Hayes. I hate him so much. That's probably why I don't like him either. I don't know. There's definitely a reason why we did not like him. It, it, it could have been one photo on one card, and we must have been judgmental little kids. It's like, oh, I hate that guy. Benny DiStefano, same way. Benny DiStefano's 89 Fleur. He's got like a cocky smirk on his face. Hate him. <laughs> Never let it go. Kelly Gruber, a.k.a. Dave Coulier. Definitely the same exact freaking person. And look at that. You guys literally conjured him into existence. Eric Plunk, and there he is, the man of the freaking hour, Vaughn Hayes. Trying very hard to blend in with that mustache, but he is not fooling anyone. We all know who that is. Next pack up for Nick West. We have an insert card in here. Mets sticker aside. Back when I had my paper route, I would buy a box of 66 tops and we get a ton of Don Mossy cards. 
who played for K the Kansas City Athletics, who was voted ugliest card back then. Yeah, I have a bunch of his cards, and he had the, the massive ears. Definitely unforgettable. I think he just passed away, like, not that long ago, I'm pretty sure. I think it was, like, a few years back. The 2000s, at the very least. Mid-2000s to late 2000s, or to almost 2020, I want to say. Tim Wallach, I could be completely wrong and lying about that. There's a Sheffield rookie card. Shows up. John Fischel. I remember that card ever in my life. So Davis, Tom Hankey. Not really looking dorky in that photo, but Greg Gross could not say the same for him. Mike Flanagan, Jim Gott. Greg Gagne and Paul Molitor, insert card, shows up. <laughs> when did the robot show up? You know what? I've not seen Taco Bell robot. In, I haven't been to Taco Bell in... I lost count. Has it been eight days? Nine days? I really don't know. But I have not had Taco Bell in like over a week. I have not smoked a cigarette since Christmas. Things are uh, things are looking up. It's pretty crazy. And I don't even want one. It's wild. After 25 years almost, I have retired. <laughs> Which is pretty nuts. Sid Fernandez... What have you done the real John? <laughs> Cal Daniels. I know, it's absolutely crazy. I've been like eating somewhat healthy. Vance Law, another guy we hate his kids. Joe B will tell you. Crusty says, smoke. <laughs> Gene Larkin ends that pack. Paul Ellis is re-entering the bizarro world. It's very possible. Please <laughs> pull forward, John. I'm not sure what's going on, but the more I talk about it, the more I want Taco Bell. Okay, I said, heck yeah, I used to smoke Newport when I was doing court for a case I caught him <laughs> in Bridgeport. Oh, it's glorious. <laughs> St. Louis Cardinals sticker, Tim Tuffle, looking extra sassy with his hands on his hips. We're not, retirement is not what it seems like, John. I can believe that. Greg Swindell, John Franco throwing a haymaker. Kurt Manwaring, where is Larry Johnson at? We need him. Kurt Manwaring address. Jim Rice. Raphael Palmero, Teddy Hugger, as we called him as kids. John Moses, who became an omen after a Raleigh Fingers Jack Pack case rip. There's literally 50 of his cards in there. John hit 30, went gluten free. Next week, he'll be doing CrossFit. Jeff Robinson. I always told myself like that I was going to stop smoking when I was 40. And like I'm less than a year away from that happening. So I was like, maybe I should just stop. Miguel Garcia and Randy Kramer. And I, was, I slowly, like, reduced it. I was doing, like, two a day there for, like, a week. And then I broke the routine of, like, having coffee and smoking in the morning and, like, getting my car and smoking. All that stuff. I feel like once you break that, it was, like, pretty freaking easy to, like, do. And then I only had one when I wanted to kill everyone, which would be every, like, six hours. <laughs> and which was usually when I was driving somewhere and there'd be, like, a Buick in the fast lane driving, like, half the speed limit. That's when I would have to have one to keep from running them off the road and scalping somebody, I would have to smoke then at that point. But I've gotten past that point now. Quad sticker aside. Yes, I was like, my blood pressure was like high there for like a long time and I didn't take care of myself. Like I, I, like I said, I talk about every day for 20 plus years, sometimes two, two times a day, sometimes three times a day. So <laughs> if you ever look at the nutrition facts of Taco Bell, it's like absolutely horrible for you. Tom Brookins possible error card. Like, if you, like, just a burrito has, like, I don't know, like, 60, I don't know, it's, like, 50% the daily value of sodium you're supposed to, you're supposed to intake. Tom Brookins, not the error card. But, yeah, so I'm, maybe I'm just, I don't know if it's permanent. Maybe I'm just taking a hiatus from doing bad things to myself. But then again, it is a weekend of debauchery, so who knows if those bad things will creep back into my life again. Dave Stewart, Sandy Alomar, Jr. rookie card. And... We have Galraga and Joe Perry. Taco Bell toughens your insides. It probably does. I never had any problems with my bowels or anything eating Taco Bell every single day. It was glorious. And I'm still going to eat it. Like, I haven't given up eating it forever. I'm just not going to eat it every single day anymore. <laughs> like, I've seen, like, videos on YouTube where there's somebody who was like, I ate Taco Bell every day for 30 days. Like, big freaking deal. I've done that for 20 years. <laughs> and it had, like, 3 million views on it. I believe Alomar was Rookie of the Year that year. There's a, an abundance of arm nubs in this set. <laughs> there definitely is, man. We've caught out a couple of them, but there's quite a few. Jack Clark, Tommy John, Mike Maddox, Dale Murphy and Ruben Sierra, Davis and Doc Gooden, 
Mark Davis had some pretty awesome years back then. And Daryl Hamilton. Nicotine pouches. Yeah, see, I've tried those before, and I, I, I used a vape there for a while, and I feel like I just would smoke the hell out of that thing, like, nonstop. I'd be sitting there watching TV, just, like, hitting that thing over and over again. So it's, like, ingesting more nicotine than ever. Mikey G, what's happening? But I also, I got sick this week, too, so I was, like, on the couch for two days, and if you get sick, that's, like, the best time to quit smoking, I feel like, because, like, for me, I, I don't even want one at that time. So... Um, I think it's like, what, it's been like five days now and I, I don't, I don't want one. So I'm pretty proud of myself after 25 years almost that, uh, I have accomplished that at least for a short amount of time. Greg Maddox and his Cubbies attire, Mike Balecki, the stare down, Pat Sheridan, Luis De Los Santos and Jim Campbell. Luis De Los Santos, very sweaty in that picture. There's Chris Gwynn. Tracy Jones, Frank White, Bruce Benedict, and there's a second year Al freaking lighter. Thanks, man. I appreciate that, you guys. And second to last pack for Nick West. There's Lois Einhorn or Mike Mark Eichhorn, as we have come to know him, I guess. Junior Ortiz, let's find another Griffin here if we can. Paul L., you're going to be pumped because we got Vicente Palacios showing up now. Edgar Martinez, it's a second-year card. Him, Tony Pena, Burks, Holman, and Ernie Riles in that pack. Yeah, so I'll probably still treat myself to Taco Bell maybe once a week. But if I kept eating it every day, I was probably going to die. <laughs> God, honestly, I told you guys that before the doctor. They told me that a couple years ago. They're like, oh, you're still alive of my very poor diet of nothing but fast food every single day. Jesse Barfield, any man's like Kent Herbeck. And we have an insert card in the last pack. It's Earl Hershiser. Jeff Blauser, rookie was the previous year. It was a pretty hot card back in 1988. Glenn Wilson, showing off his chest hair. And we have Daryl Boston. So not an amazing stack for Nick West. No, I think we got a Sheffield rookie in there maybe, but that was about it. We go on the last stack. Tom Johns, thanks, man. I was pumped on a Von Calderon for about five minutes. <laughs> you sound like me whenever I was a kid. So the very last stack is going to go to none other than Joe P. <laughs> High risk is I'm going to have a cigarette. <laughs> Smoked them all. Good luck to you, Joe. We found one Griffey. We found the BGO, the Smoltz, the Johnson... And the Sheffield. So we found all, all the major rookies of this release. Guillermo Hernandez. There's a bunch of error variations of this card as well. I don't, that doesn't appear to be one of them, though. Socha. Mike Scott. There's Dickie Thon. There's Ken Phelps, of course. Very, very dorky Ken Phelps. Steve Bedrosian. Wild Thing Mitch Williams. Strawberry and Clark. And Kevin McReynolds slides out of my hands. Scum stash is still growing in that photo. Has not matured yet. Pack number two. Let's put this Fleer collation. Like upper deck. Best thing says Stefan Weaver pitched in one game in New York in 1982. I've never heard that name. It's a very interesting one, though. Buddy Bell, Brian Downey, thank you for that mess of things. Did anybody get it right in the comments? I didn't I didn't see them fly by pretty quick. There's Dave Steve. Milt Thompson, very hideous look on his face there. No Keith Atherton, you're right. Hopefully this is a stack for Keith. I'm gonna be real pissed off and probably throw a temper tantrum. There's Bob Walk. Darnell Coles. I feel like he was one of my favorite players for maybe a week around this time. Ozzie Smith. He would go on. Actually, he left the Buckos. For Seattle. Expo sticker aside, we got an insert card in here. Kurt Young, Marv Freeman, John Smiley, Belial Evan, Sosha insert card now shows up. Pretty small insert set, 12 cards. Terry Blocker, Mandela effect on that one. And there's a Benny DiStefano card that made me hate him, I think, as a kid. He just, I don't know, rubbed us the wrong way and we saw that photo. Like, that guy is a real chode. There's a Rob Dibble rookie card. Wallace Johnson and Mickey Brantley. 
ends that pack for Joe P. Yeah, congrats to Tango. Padres sticker, speaking of Tango, Joe Price starts things off. Lombardozzi. So it doesn't appear like we have an airbox. There's a Girardi rookie card. Does not appear to be a freaking airbox, unfortunately. Because we have seen everything corrected, but still holding on to hope that maybe that Billy Ripken will be a black scribble at the very least. Old Pirates logo. I love that. Harky, there's an Alan Trammell. Roberto Alomar's second year card. Brooks Saberhagen, the year he won the Cy Young, along with a Dennis Cook and Ken Hill rookie. That's a pretty iconic card. And so is this. 89 Donruss. $30 price tag, Ken Hill. If you know, you freaking know. Brian Harvey, looking a lot like Mr. Beast. I am nearly positive that that is Mr. Beast. Anthony Fernandez ends that pack. We got four packs left. Mikey G demanding a Pee Wee sighting. Well, I can't let you down on that. Pee Wee sounds a little bit better today, but his shirt is still unwashed and smoke stained. But he is reclining and relaxing in Cherry. They're getting ready to smoke a carton of cigarettes tomorrow night for New Year's. <laughs> no different than any, any other weekend night, though. Jose Guzman, there's Paul Ossenmacher, Boggs, and Lansford. We did see Greg Swindell a few packs ago, actually. I think it was in the last stack. Andy Allenson and Denny Jackson. Andy Allenson actually had a gold cup in 87 tops. And I don't know why that card was left behind, but at one time we called him Mark Salalaz, and we hated his freaking guts. Don't know why. Could not tell you. Mark Salalaz. <laughs> Back then, that's what my brother and I called him. Yankee sticker side, Jose Alvarez. Bob Kipper, who was always higher than life. Bankhead. Greenwell, or early in his career, Bo Diaz, gotta be probably Bo Diaz's last card, at least one of them from 89. Mike Heath, definitely not going to be the error card, unfortunately. Belcher, Tibbs, there's an Nolan Ryan finally showing up, and Dave Henderson. I feel like there's a lot of players we haven't seen. We just now saw a Nolan. I don't think we've seen a Don Mattingly in here. And. I feel like there's definitely several others. I'm see Glavin. Old Sox logo is sick. I love that. Second year Glavin, we have the Triple A's. Steinbach, McGuire, and Seiko. Danny Cox. Keith Hernandez. Magadan. Larkin. Otis Nixon. There is the Hawk looking real pissed. And Rob Deere ends that pack. Final pack in 89 Fleer Rip. Chainsmoking neighbors invite you to the news party. You know what? They didn't. So I didn't invite them to mine. <laughs> it's a little bit of a touche moment happening there. A's sticker aside, Boggs. Say he is mouthing profanities at somebody. Bill Long. We got Rex Hudler, who's very much still alive. He was pronounced dead on here. Scott Geralt's definitely doesn't have the laser eyes out, but at one point in time. A few years prior, he did have Cyclops-like laser eyes. Tim Leary, Bob Nepper is a Conseco. Roberto Kelly's second-year card. His 88 rookies were pretty hot back then. That's the final stack for Joe P. Let us unveil the Bill Ripken. And hopefully everyone can be disappointed in unison. This is the first stack, one of the first packs I opened, the Ripken... Is it going to be the F-Face? Will it be a black scribble? Or will it be the black box that everyone freaking has? It's one of the first cards I, I bought when I got back into the hobby 10 years ago. And I feel like a lot of people do the same thing. It's one that you have to have. The slow reveal. What is it going to be on that bat knob? It is the black box, unfortunately. That is the most common. It is corrected. For, the, for those of you guys that aren't familiar with this, it originally said the F word on his bat knob, F face, and it's blacked out on this one. We gave it a shot. We tried. We got the censored version. Like I said, the last one got the black scribble. So they're all from the same guy. I don't think they're from the same case. 
and um, who knows, may open another one of those eventually at some point here, but I hope that you guys enjoyed that rip. I don't know if I'll have anything for you tomorrow night or not, but I may try to go out in the morning and grab some stuff up for a weekend recap video at uh, the place in Altoona, so maybe I will round some things up and have a recap tomorrow night, so I appreciate you guys all being here. If for some reason I don't freaking see you, happy freaking new year. We'll have much more debauchery happening in 2024, so stick around for that. But have a great rest of your night, guys. Thank you all for being here. You guys are the best. I'll hopefully see you back tomorrow night.